understand about Sonar Cube and get a practical step by step guide on how to set up Sonar Cube and integrate with DevOps tools. Sonar Cube is a source code analysis tool which will allow you to uh, ensure the developers in your team will follow a particular coding standards, naming conventions and other code coding rules to ensure the code that is being developed is, is as per the standards and, and, uh, and covers the, the basic minimum requirements for the code to be deployed to the production or other environments. So Sonar Cube is one of the tools, there are many other tools, but in this session we will understand and focus more on the Sonar Cube, the community edition. So the first question is why Sonar Cube? So uh, Sonar Cube, uh, as I mentioned, is a, is a static code analysis tool which will help you, especially when you have a big team, a multi, multi location or, or uh, development team uh, and, and you have a regular code churn which happens as part of your sprints or releases. So when you have a code being de ma ma developed and edited on a regular basis, how do you ensure the code developed by multiple developers is following a particular standard and particular whether it naming conventions, whether you unit testing or any other basic coding principles that you want to ensure in the team it is followed. One way is to do is to have a manual code review where your, your senior members or you know your leads would go ahead and um, review the code on a, on a regular basis to ensure it is uh, uh, it is following the standards. Going, going through the code review, the manual code review approach, it is always time consuming and and if you're in a sprint or agile mode this the this would eat up most of your time which is required for the release uh, efforts so sonar cube is a way for you to automate the the coding code standards code reviews you using the tool and you could also integrate the same with cicd tools such as devops and jenkins in this in this session we will focus on understanding everything about how to install sonar cube and how to do the basic setup for the sonar cube to start uh, exec start running on your on your environment then we'll understand a bit about quality profiles and quality gates how to understand and how to configure profiles for your like programming languages that you use and also configure quality gates for the your existing applications and also new code Sonar Cube Marketplace is, uh, we will we'll go through uh, in brief the Sonar Cube Marketplace wherein we, um, we uh, look at what is available in the marketplace, the plugins and, and for a particular need, what are the plugins available that, we, uh, that you can download and install based on your project needs. Finally, we'll also look at how to integrate the Sonar Cube, Cube scan into your .NET code uh, as part of your Azure DevOps or Jenkins pipeline. So we will we will finally focus on uh, the unit testing reports, uh, how to generate the unit testing reports as part of this uh, CI/CD pipelines and and uh, cover the practical aspect aspects here. Most of it would be a, a step by step guide and practical uh, with the real applications and with very minimal. Uh, as part of this session, we will be installing and setting up the Sonar Cube Community Edition and, and use it in our uh, CICD pipelines. So in order to, in order to download the latest version of Sonar Cube, the Community Edition, we need to go into sonarcube.org and get into the Community section where you will see all the uh, help that is required for you to uh, set up sonar or understand the documentation is available for sonar cube and and, and basic steps and the guide so once we are in the sonar cube dot uh, uh, the root org
So I'm going to cube. cube and then you can click on the download option which will basically download the latest uh, allow you to select the what kind of edition you need as I said we'll be using the community edition click on the download the free or the community edition which should start the download automatically once you are in the screen so let's wait for this to download and then we will go ahead and understand um, the steps to set this particular sonar cube as a windows service which will start up every time the the server comes up so with the sonar cube downloaded let me go to downloads now i have the sonar cube so the first step is i extract into a folder let's say see sonar cube and then extract If I go into sonar cube, yes, I have the sonar cube which is being extracted here. So I have it ready. So I'll sonar cube community. So once you have it extracted, you will see all the folders such as bin, config. So conf folder is where you have your wrapper.conf, uh, which you will use to, which is required to uh, install the sonar as a windows service and if you go to bin for depending on for each of your os operating system you have a different folder with the relevant steps and uh, bin or exe files that are required now i am installing it in a windows machine so i'll go to windows uh, machine so so there are two ways of running a sonar cube on a server one is you can just click on start sonar and it would basically uh, start it will it would launch your uh, a command prompt and and run a sonar uh, as with everything set up it would start the sonar and you would be able to access the problem with this is every time the server reboots or or uh, any issues and and uh, uh, you want to start restart the server uh, sonar needs to be restarted manually every time you you reboot which may lead to issues such as you know uh, so as on a not accessible or, or issues like that the second option is to install sonar uh, under windows services and wherein you will be able to configure uh, so right now there is no sonar cube so you once we install windows service windows service is something that would start off immediately we can configure it to start as soon as the system reboots so that way the server uh, the sonar cube is always available for you to uh, access so in order to install the uh, sonar cube as a windows service let us launch a command prompt in this in the folder so uh, sonar cube provides you uh, a default uh, an exe uh, wrapper.exe which, which you can use to uh, run various commands to install or remove uh, sonar cubes so example once i say wrapper it would basically look for these commands whether you want to start or you know start the windows service or you want to stop the service and various other operations now we have one more option to install or remove so install is what it would uh, take up the uh, it uh, install the windows sonar cube into the windows service so that everything can be uh, running as part of your uh, system so when you when you use the command uh, hyphen i or install we'll also have to provide the path of the conf co configuration file which we saw is part of conf and wrapper.config so going back to uh, if you see here i am in the bin 
and Windows. So I have wrapper here. So I have to refer to the uh, wrapper.conf file, which is two folders back, and then there's a con folder. So if I go back here uh, and bin, so I have Windows wrapper. So what I the command to install is wrapper i hyphen i, which is for install, and then specify the path of your wrapper.conf file. So here I'm basically going uh, specifying a folder which is two folders back backwards from the current exe and then there's a conf on the wrapper.conf. If I go back and refer we have a wrapper.conf. So once I run this command it will be able to find the, as soon as it is able to find the conf file it says sonar cube has been installed. Now if I go back to the service and restart now I have a sonar cube which I can go here properties and go ahead and uh, uh, specify it to launch automatically on startup. So now I will go ahead and start the sonar cube. So now okay I am able to run uh, there is a dependency which you may have to set up uh, wherein there is a dependency of Java being installed on the system uh, for sonar to run. So we will cover that in, 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 in another video. But you know, here the idea is you have everything set up with respect to Java. So your Sonar Cube is able to launch. I can go to localhost 9000 and it would ask me to change, uh, since I'm logging for the first time, it would ask me to enter the password, the by default, your password, old password will be admin. Now I can set the new password. So once you do an update, I'm able to log in. So this is the, the landing page where you know where once you are able to log in, you will see the uh, you're logged in as an admin. So you'll have all the options here, wherein you know you can start creating new project from Azure DevOps, Bitbucket, various other source controls, and you can also see a set of rules, profiles, gates, and how to administer as an admin. What are the various uh, settings that is available for you to manage whether uh, it's your email configuration to send automated emails for issues and project status project issue changes or you know or you can even visit a marketplace to install plugins that are required for your programming languages whether uh, for your uh, whether it could be a c sharp dot net java python any language every language you will get a, a uh, plugin which is required for it to uh, understand the language and and uh, uh, iterate through. Now with this setup, now we are all ready to start understanding quality profiles, quality gates, how to install the plugins that we need for in our case ascsharp.net and then uh, look at uh, config in the CI/CD pipelines. So as we saw here, when once we went to administrator and I went into a uh, marketplace and when you see the plugins uh, installed so if right now I don't have anything any plugins installed so I can go into C sharp can search for the plugins that I need but by default I think the, the basic uh, uh, languages are included as part of your plugin so if I go to general settings you can see the uh, the code coverage uh, syntax uh, code coverage uh, plugin that is already installed and what are the analysis scopes so analysis scope is where you define what are the files you want to include in your in your analysis and what are the files you want to exclude and and here again you know uh, sonar cube provides you code coverage uh, results like how, how much of unit test cases cover the uh, code uh, and here you can specify the files you want to ignore. Similarly, it will also note down or uh, indicate the number of code which is duplicate, duplicated across the project. So you can also specify uh, based on the project need, you can specify what are the uh, files that you want to ignore when calculating the uh, duplication count. And similarly, you know, across all the, con all the metrics, you can have a global source file exclusion and source file inclusions what are the files you want to include and various other settings that are needed 
for sonar cube to ignore or include the files okay so now coming to the quality profiles so quality profiles are as i said for every language that we have in our source code uh, you have a set of rules that are applied against uh, the source code so here uh, by default you know uh, all the standard coding languages are available and the rules are enabled so example if i go to c sharp there's by default there's a sonar wave profile which is used which is your uh, default uh, profile you can go and create a new profile my project uh, c sharp rules and the language is c sharp and i'll say create so here is where i can there are up to uh, close to 393 rules which i can enable or disable based on my project need so i can go ahead and activate individual rules activate and specify while well, activating i can also specify what is the severity of this particular tool or error right so i can activate each of the individual tools and when the when sonar cube is executed uh, against a project only these activated rules are considered and all other rules are not considered as part of uh, execution so like this you know we can go ahead and set up the profiles so i have my project c sharp rules and for for a project for every project that you have and uh, and every language that you use in a project you can set up your own set of rules so as to avoid clutter in in multi various errors that you need not even consider or take it up on a priority so once quality profiles are done next is the quality gates quality gates is uh, you have quality profile which basically defines what are the rules to run and quality gate identifies at a project level what are the conditions that needs to be checked to mark whether the project is meeting the coding standards or not so in this case if you see there's a default uh, set of metrics what it means is if the coverage is less than 80% duplicate lines is greater than 3% and your various rating uh, values so what it indicates is when a project is run against a sonar cube and you get a latest report if the if any of these conditions are not met then it would go ahead and mark the project as a failed quality check or quality gate and and uh, if if everything is met it will it will show up as a green which indicates that code is in as per the coding standards one other point uh, to note here is uh, the these conditions are met only for a uh, new code so which means that if you have a legacy code Uh, which you are which you are taken up and you are running it for the first time, uh, you could baseline the current sonar errors and 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 details uh, issues everything as as a baseline, and then only have the condition the quality gate for the new code that your your team is maintaining and uh, maintaining and uh, editing, right? So I can go ahead and create a new uh, quality gate, my projects. quality gate right save and once i now i can add a condition so the, as i said the condition is on i can add a condition for the overall code or the new code a new code is basically you know, the code which has modified since the baseline or the last execution so here i can add the conditions i can add the value is less than 80 and then add right so then we will later on we will look at uh, once the project is created we will look at how to uh, how to how to change the quality gate and quality gates for a proper particular project